Send away the F. <laughs> F for what? <laughs> that ass. Your boyfriend. Yo, just came to get me for the weekend. If you get down to two ninety nine, I am out of here. What? He don't like Jamie. He's got a fetish. Are you okay with him working out of your life? If you're under three hundred pounds, why can't I just be happy for once? Answer me this: Are you engaged? I hope to God it's really not true. Hello, my gorgeous people, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. We have some new information on the season three of 1000 Pound Sisters, and your girls got some spoilers for you, too. For those of you who don't know, TLC recently announced its fall programming, stating that the new season will be premiering on Monday, November 15th at 10 p.m. EST. The press release states that 1000 Pound Sisters will be returning with Tammy entering food addiction rehab and Amy balancing her own weight with the demands of motherhood. At the end of season two, Tammy's weight was spiraling out of control and this made her make a game-changing decision to check herself into a rehab for food addiction. But information has now leaked that her visit at this rehab was really short-lived. With that being said, new information has came forward about Tammy's stay at this facility. According to the Screen Rants article, which I will link down below, Tammy was making progress as she had lost over 20 pounds in just two weeks. Tammy was also working on improving her step count at this facility and they had her on a specific meal plan. The menu itself seems to be rather hefty, but allegedly it was put in place to help Tammy reach her weight loss goals. For breakfast, Tammy would have eggs, turkey sausage, and some toast, along with some low-fat milk, a box of Honey Nut Cheerios, orange juice, and a coffee. At lunchtime, Tammy had a meal made up of a BLT sandwich, potatoes, tiramisu, and a Diet Pepsi. Tammy finished her day off with a dinner of grilled chicken strips and mashed potatoes, but Tammy did share the facility's menu, which offered a variety of meal options with the calorie count provided. When it comes to Tammy's personal life, TLC focuses a lot on her love interest, and for season three, you could expect that to be none other than the BBW King, aka Philip. Once again, this relationship is very short-lived, but he does make his presence on the show. And as you can see from the beginning of the video, it seems that Tammy's fans were not the only ones concerned about this relationship. Although we do not know exactly why the BBW King and Tammy split up, something tells me that all of the tea will be unfolding on season three. Moving on though, Amy is dealing with her own struggles in season three, and while her dreams did come true when she became a mom to her son Gage, balancing the demands of motherhood with her own weight loss goals may prove to be impossible. It does appear that Amy has gained some weight back since having her son just based off of photos that she has posted over on social media. And fans have been extremely vocal when it comes to their concerns on Amy's weight gain and her parenting skills. Amy posts a lot of pictures of Gage over on her social media, but in a recent post, she and Gage were wearing matching outfits. And although Amy and Gage were supposed to be the focal point of the picture, it was the background of the photo that had fans concerned. Behind Amy and Gage, fans could see a little bit of Amy's house and were super worried about how messy it was. Majority of the fans were just concerned about Gage and his safety inside of the home. One person commented, I hope he isn't crawling around with medicine bottles at his reach or anything else he could choke on looks awfully dangerous with things stacked up that could fall on him. But of course, there were other fans that were way more understanding as well. One person commented, I don't know why anyone would say a word about Amy's home because you can't even see it in this picture. She has a baby people, which means all kinds of things are going to be sitting out. Another person stated, postpartum is hard. Don't let anyone let you feel bad for your body in its current state or your house. While the Slayton sisters do seem to have their own personal struggles in season three. Meanwhile, the sister's brother Chris has now reached the goal Dr. Smith set out for him to be eligible for bariatric surgery. But after a setback following a procedure to remove a boil from his leg, he fears that he has blown his chances for life-saving surgery. Facing another checkup with the doctors, Tammy and Chris must both face the music and see whether their progress qualifies them for the weight loss surgery or not. As season three creeps up, we're left with all kinds of questions but the one thing that we do know is that season three will feature all of the stars the audience have grown to love, including Amy and Tammy's brother, Chris Combs, who joined the
the series back in season two. The one thing I think we can all agree on is season three has a lot to live up to. Between the insane season two finale, which was one of the most craziest episodes in the franchise history, and the simple fact that a lot has went down between season two and season three here on social media with the Slayton sisters, there are rumors galore that have swirled around Tammy's health, Amy struggles maintaining her weight, and Tammy having this new boyfriend during the reality show's intermission. But a According to TLC, all of these conflicts and more will be addressed on 1,000 Pound Sisters Season 3. So I suggest you grab your popcorn and maybe even some Kleenex and get ready for the Season 3 premiere on November 15th at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. What are you most excited for when it comes to Season 3? Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments down below. Also, if you want to stay in the loop with the Slayton Sisters and everything else to do with the show, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing before you go and tapping the bell for post notifications that way you're notified every single time i upload i appreciate you guys too the moon and stars and until the next time bye guys